YouTube world. This is Austin Zay back here with another YouTube video. And in this video, as you saw, uh, we are actually installing an ATM. Okay, so I have an ATM right here. We're driving down the road and um, I actually was not planning on installing an ATM today, okay? So for those of you that are new to my channel, if you have not already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, okay? Because it will help with the YouTube gods and the YouTube algorithm to put this video in front of another person just like you that needs to see this video and it'll change their life just like it's about to change your life. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. And with that being said, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a right hand turn here because this is where I gotta go, man. We're hopefully gonna keep the ATM in the back of this Prius, okay? Uh, so I guess tip number one, installing an ATM, if you're looking to get into the ATM business, is to buy a car that gets good gas mileage, okay? Because you're gonna drive around a lot and uh, man, it is, is not practical. So one thing about this business, it's not practical to drive some big old clunky car around. You don't wanna do it, okay? So tip number one, get a Prius or a car like a Prius. Get something that'll hold the ATM in the back. I'll show you that. We're about to go here. I'll tell you a little bit about this, uh, this situation, okay? So it is a barber shop in a mall. Really good little location. And um, you know, basically, I mean, the way that we landed the deal, I'll just kind of talk to you a little bit while while we're going to to actually park, and then we're going to kind of show you how we install the machine. Um, but look, I mean, landing this location was simple. Okay, one of our guys got on the phone, called them, said, "Hey, you know, you guys need an ATM." They did. They needed an ATM, right? We said, "Okay, cool. We can give you an ATM, right?" Got, gave them an ATM. We're giving them an ATM right now, and that's really about it. We programmed the ATM at our office. So I would encourage you to do that. If you have an ATM or you're looking to get in started in the ATM business, you know, I guess tip number two. Um, so tip number one is buy a Prius, buy a car, get good gas mileage. We'll kind of do that video or we'll do this video like that. I'll give you guys some tips. Tip number two would be program this thing. If you're brand new to this business, program this at your house or at your office, okay? Because these ATMs kind of take a little while to program. They're not hard to program. It's like buying a freaking, it's like buying a new PlayStation or a new Xbox, right? Like you have no idea what you're doing. You got to pull out the remote controllers and put the batteries in and fiddle around with it for a little while. And um, you don't want to look like a freaking fool, okay? When you're, you know, when you're rolling up to the to the location in which you're installing the machine, right? Instead, you want to look like you know exactly what you're doing, right? So program it at your office, program it at your house, and then take it to the place, okay? Because it'll stay programmed even after you unplug it. So um, that would be tip number two. I'm trying to think, man, tip number three, find a good location, okay? Find a good location. We'll give you a lot more tips when we start installing this thing. Find a good location, barbershops are good, um, disp medical marijuana dispensaries, obviously like strip clubs, medical marijuana dispensaries, like regular nightclubs, stuff like that, but you don't need that to like have a good location. You could do barbershops, you could do nail salons, you could do a little bar, just like a little pub, a little pub, a little pub bar, uh, like a billiard where people play pool, stuff like that. You know, a lot of these locations are really good, man. They're really consistent. They'll do like two, three, four, five hundred dollars a month in profit, which is not a home run. Like you're not like getting rich off one deal, but you're paying your phone bill, you're paying your car payment, you're paying your insurance, right? You're paying something. And then what you do is you just get five, 10 of these things, okay? 20, 30, 40, 50, if you want to, or just keep one too, right? Um, that's what I would encourage you to do. Everybody's trying to hit these home run deals. I guess that'd be tip number three, right? Stop trying to stop trying to swing it out of the park and uh, and and just just kind of, you know, get the ball rolling. Here's what tip number four is. I've actually never been to this location before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go scope it out before uh, before we park. Cause I don't wanna park in the wrong place, wheel this thing in there and it be uh, like on the other end of the freaking mall. Okay, so let's go check it out real quick. All right, so we're wheeling this ATM in here, man. So actually, like I said, this is in a mall and um, should be a good little location. So take you guys with me and uh, we'll see how this goes. So I think we're on tip number four, which really is, there's not a lot to this business. I mean, I guess tip number four would be just to not overcomplicate it. I mean, just basically, make it happen, you know? I mean, program the ATM, land the location, get the location, right? Get your ATM in the location, stop overcomplicating it. Would be tip number four, everybody's like, 
oh, but I gotta have my, my insurance perfect or my, my this or my that. I'm gonna turn around here. My this or my that. It's like, nah, dude, you don't need nothing. You ain't even got an ATM. What do you need insurance for? You got nothing to put insurance on. You know? Stop overcomplicating it. Make it happen. Hey, when you, when you get the ATM and you've got a location and you've got some cash, then get insurance. But you ain't even got no money. So, that's what I'm saying. All right, where are we headed? Right over here? Right there. Cool, cool. So basically, we're just getting everything all plugged in. Um, you really just gotta plug it in and then you know, like I said, we have everything programmed at our office, so um, there's not a whole lot that needs to happen at this point. We need to put our receipt paper in here. Um, and that's really, that's really about it. So I'll show you guys how to put the receipt paper in here real quick here, just like this right here. And then it just goes down underneath this, over here, and you actually just feed this up through here just like this. So, yeah, if you watch this video, look. At the end of the day, I should say. Yeah, I mean, normally it says test okay. Doesn't say that this time, but yeah, real simple. Real freaking simple. So basically, you're either gonna need ethernet, right? Or you're gonna need Wi-Fi. So, um, either one, either one works. Uh, Wi-Fi is what we're gonna use on this one right here. So basically, you can do ethernet, and ethernet would actually just plug in right under here. So you just run ethernet right to the plug, and you would probably run it through this, and then throughout the back right here. But in this, in this case scenario, we're gonna use Wi-Fi. So the same exact thing, we just gotta plug our Wi-Fi box into here. And it's gonna get this thing out, just like that. Sorry plug our Wi-Fi in here, it's really all you need. You don't need anything crazy. Again, stop overcomplicating it. give you guys a couple more pointers kind of on the way home you know basically there's a couple things obviously that happen in there uh, number one you know I was getting the Wi-Fi box kind of connected but again you know these are like little bitty things it's gonna be in the instruction manual um, we do it a little bit differently because we're working with multiple different partners and we have multiple different people I'll have a different guy loading it I'll have a different guy that owns it I'll have a different guy that you know like there's there's kind of a lot of moving pieces but there doesn't have to be a lot of moving pieces you know it can basically be a very simple business model um again it's like buying a it's like buying a, an iphone it's like buying a, a computer it's like it's really like doing anything right there's gonna be instructions it's going to show you how to do it okay i'm happy to make a hundred videos for you but essentially the atm is a very simple business model to get involved with so um we'll kind of wrap that up there and then see if there's any other tips or tricks that i think of and we'll go from there ladies and gentlemen that's pretty much it. You know, we, we installed an ATM. Uh, again, you know, there was multiple different things that we kind of talked about throughout the video. We did the Wi-Fi, uh, but again, we programmed the ATM before we took it there because there's kind of just a lot of tedious stuff that you'll see when you buy an ATM and you get the owner's manual and you're trying to program it. Um, but once you have it programmed and you go to install it, I mean, essentially it's a matter of getting a dolly, dollying it in there, figuring out where it needs to go, getting the power connected, and then ultimately either getting an ethernet cable to the ATM or getting a wireless device for the ATM so you don't need an ethernet cable, okay? So 
That is pretty much it though, as it pertains to actually like installing the ATM. The only other thing that you would need to know is bolting the ATM down. If you're gonna bolt the ATM down again, it is totally personal preference. I know you're watching this video right now. You're like, but Austin, if I don't bolt it down, then somebody's gonna steal it and I'm gonna get robbed and I'm gonna lose all my money. And yeah, that, that can definitely happen, right? No different than a meteor can fall on top of my Prius right now, okay? And, and uh, we could all die, okay? So, you know, again, it just depends on how you want to do your business, okay? So if you wanna bolt it down, if you think you're gonna have a lot of cash in there and, you, and it's in an interesting part of town, then yeah, bolt it down, right? Open that bottom door up, the safe, and bolt that thing down, okay? Uh, I did not bolt the one down that we were just at. Um, you know, maybe I'll go back and bolt it down later, but as of right now, it's not bolted down. So. I hope you got a ton of value from this video. If there's anything you feel like I didn't talk about or I didn't cover, definitely drop in the comments section down below what you would like to see in a future video. If you haven't already, smash that like button, okay? Click that subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.